Well, it's not unusual for the small town of Dorset to see more than 1,000 visitors for their annual Taste of Dorset event. Reporter Sherelle Moore shows us what's cooking in the area for this week's Community Spotlight. For around 30 years now, the restaurant capital of the world has enticed visitors with dozens of mouth-watering bites that you can find only in the town of Dorset. Taste of Dorset, it's a fun day where everyone gets out and there's family events, there's all sorts of things that people can do. Um, tasting food and having a good time, tons of bands and music that is, we have, what, seven bands going out all around the, the area. The event happens every first Sunday in August. The restaurants of Dorset will set up shop outside and cook for the crowds. Almost everyone in the small community of 25 participates in some way. The Campanero's Dorset House, we have the chicken coop over there, uh, La Pasta, the general store, and then we have Meadowbrook, Lundergan's. There's a church that sells corn over there, the antique shop. There's also a stainless glass place, and we all just kind of come together. Attendees this weekend were offered everything from pizzas and burritos to ice cream, fish, and ribs. There was also different kinds of beers, a load of Bloody Mary, and special virgin strawberry daiquiris for drinks. Oh, I had some quesadillas. I had nachos. I want to get the Korean beef, but they ran out of rice. Sweet but they corn were very was good. delicious. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was fantastic. And if you like Italian, they have Italian for you, too. Well, I tried a lot of the fried stuff because, like, we don't have cheese curds in Germany, or I think my favorite were the fried beans or the fried pickles. So when they say thousands of people come to taste the door set each year, that's probably not an understatement. As you can see, cars are lined up all the way down the highway here. The street's full, and uh, we have, uh, you know, just people, thousands of people running around all the way down to the to the main, Highway 34 as cars lined up. The party doesn't stop when the food is put away at 3 o'clock. Directly after taste, there's a cornhole tournament. And there's also a street dance. Being here in northern Minnesota, it is different. I wouldn't have expected it to be as different as it is, but it's like different in a good way. You can see that the area is a bit different, that the minds of the people is slightly different, but still they're so open-minded, they're friendly. Reporting in Dorset with this week's Community Spotlight, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.